Hi and welcome to Cubase. On this video, I'm going to show you how to produce beats fast and easily and how to create your own unique grooves in Cubase. First of all, let me show you Groove Agent. This is the main drum instrument in Cubase. And this includes lots of amazing presets, lots of amazing drum kits that can help you create a beat very, very easily. Of course, the very first thing I can do is just trigger my different drum sounds or use a MIDI keyboard or use a drum pad controller to control these sounds, like this one right here. So now let's record, let's set up a four bar loop and let's start recording. Now I can keep recording and add more elements. So now let's see what we've done. When I click on the MIDI event right there, of course I can bring up my key editor. But in Cubase we also have the drum editor where you can actually see your recordings as drum hits in a much more streamlined approach for editing drums. So if you want to bring up a full screen of the drum editor, just go MIDI and select open drum editor. And now we have our drum editor right there. Now if I want to, I can also filter all those drum sounds and only show drum sounds with events, like this. For example, if I wanted to add a continuous hi-hat right there, I can do this and I can change the velocities like this and now I have a continuous 16th note hi-hat pattern. And I can add notes just like that, very, very easily. Another very quick way to create beats is to just use the patterns that you can find on Groove Agent SC5. So when you click on the button right here, you get these cool patterns. All you need to do is drag and drop them into your project window and immediately you have a MIDI event that contains those drum loops. Another way to create beats in Cubase is by taking advantage of the vast library of drum loops that we have. Let's go to our media bay click on loops and samples, and let's go to drum loops. So let's drag and drop this loop, for example, into our project window. There we go. So let's listen to it. But now let's say that this loop doesn't really work for me in terms of groove, but I still like the individual elements like the kick drum, the snaps, all those things. So maybe I want to have a tempo of 92 this time, and I want to create my own personal groove. So how can I do this? I can just slice this loop and turn it into a Groove Agent SC drum kit. Let me show you how you do this. You just double click on your event and then you have to go to your hit points. And then you can see that Cubase has already added the hit points on every hit. Next step is click on Create Slices. And there we go. Now we have the sliced drum loop right there. Now all I need to do is open an empty Groove Agent SC instance, like this, and drag and drop this loop into one of the cells. And there we go, now we have all our slices available into Groove Agent SC. So now I can play all these slices as a drum kit with my MIDI controller or my pad controller. It's really that simple. Now let's say I want to have a very streamlined step editor to create a drum groove. We have that in Cubase. You just need to go to MIDI inserts and find B Designer right there. So now if I activate it, I can start creating a drum groove using B Designer in a step sequencer fashion. Let me show you. So I want like the kick drum there. So I can add flam, I can add swing very, very easily. And now if I want to create a MIDI part out of this pattern, I can drag and drop the pattern into my project window, just like that. Of course, a big part of beat making is sampling. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to record some samples from this analog drum machine into Cubase. And then I'll show you what we can do. So I'm gonna take my leads right there, connect it to my front inputs. And if 
transformers on, why not? And I'm going to create an audio track. And now let's start recording some samples. Maybe kick drum, maybe a snare. Maybe chance the decay. Tighter. And now I've recorded all this in. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them in a second. So now let's do something fun. I'm going to take my audio interface and my laptop and I'm going to go into the other room and start sampling some stuff and show you how you can create beats using your own material, your own samples. Let's do it. Now that we've recorded all those cool instruments, all those cool sounds, let's go back into Cubase and create our drum kits using Groove Agent and the sampler track. Let's get started. So here are the recordings that I made. Here we have our drum machine, our analog drum machine. Here is my whirly, the harmonium, the piano, and I've basically cut the regions that I think they're gonna be useful and I painted them red so that I can identify them very, very easily. So let's start with those analog drums. I want to go and play back this kick drum, for example. And now I want to turn this kick drum into a sampler track. So all I need to do is just activate my lower zone, go to sampler control, drop this sample right there. And now I can immediately play this kick drum on my keyboard. And of course I can change the pitch, I can change the length of the sample, create fade outs. I like this, this is more tight. Now let's go and check the whirly samples. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before when I was chopping the loops. I'm going to double click, create slices, and let's drop those samples right here. So now I can immediately trigger those whirly chords on my keyboard. Now I can go ahead and record those chords with Groove Agent. And there you go, I can use Groove Agent not only for drums, but also for triggering samples. Very, very cool. So there you go, you got Cubase, you got the groove. Have fun and we'll see you in the next one.